The talk all day was about Mick Jagger, almost 70, with the energy of a 30-year-old. So we wanted to know his secret, and ABC's Bill Weir spoke with the Rolling Stone. You've heard of dog years. Well, this is what age 69 looks like in Stone's years. And before you dismiss Mick Jagger's energy at last night's Sandy Benefit as a two-song fluke, hey, hey, you, you get out of my know that in recent weeks he has been ripping up the stage like this for two and a half hours a night. How do you do it? How do you no, do it? I was sore the next day watching. How, how do you do it? Just what I do, really. People are willing to pay, you know, five, six hundred bucks for a seat. Just think what they would pay for Mick Jagger elixir, yeah, well, your, your, mm. your fitness regimen. <laughs> I don't really have much of a fitness regimen, to be honest. I, you know, it's pretty low key. I mean, I do have one. Yes, a band with an average age older than the Supreme Court's rehearsed eight grueling weeks to play just five shows. A work ethic that somehow survived all those years and miles, women and drugs. Keith Richards still enjoys a drink or three, but Ronnie Wood has been sober for years now and admits this tour is a real test of willpower. We hit them with clarity and focus now. Before, it was eyes down and meet you at the end, you know? And like, oh no, how am I gonna get out of this? A little bit of that still goes on. So despite the struggles for sobriety and band harmony, they've discovered their real secret is simply doing what they love. Retirement would be a death sentence, and there is no better fountain of youth than an arena full of adoration. People say, well, why are you still together? And I said, well, it, because people like us. Of course, we love playing music together, but you have to have both a part of the equation. So for those inclined to order Saturday's pay-per-view finale with Bruce Springsteen and Lady Gaga thinking this could be the last time, keep in mind the tour is called 50 and Counting. Bill Weir, ABC News, New York.